Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC and welcome to the Daylight Savings Time edition of Saturday Night Live. That's right, don't forget, tonight is Daylight Savings Time. So we were just having this discussion earlier, 2 a.m. on your local time, move your clocks ahead one hour and we're in Daylight Savings Time. Hello, hello, let's see who we have in the chat. Oh, we have the lovely and wonderful women carry knives, Miss Christine herself. Hello, hello. I know we've got eggs and ham. Ethan's here. Uh, Mateo is here. Talbert, hello. Rennie is here. Chad. My goodness. Ashcan's here. Hello. Mark is here. Oh, my goodness. Who else? Cauldron was here, but he said he was going to bed, which I understand with daylight savings time. I kind of figured we'd have a little bit smaller crowd tonight. Last Ranger is here. Sue Chicken is here. Hello, hello. Welcome. Grom, hello. Good to have you, buddy. Lisa, Mark. Let's see. I'm almost to the bottom, I think. I think, I think. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I don't think I did. And Nebu Cloud, hello, how are you? Glad to have you. Stuart's here, Chris T.I. Addiction is here, Todd's here, Shane's here. Everybody's jumping in now. Nice. Hello, hello. Hope you guys. Hollywood, what's up, man? Z-Man, hello. Peter's here. Nice. Everybody's jumping in now once we get started. Form D, hello. Good to see you again. Right on. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I tell you what. Hey, William, how you doing, buddy? We must have brought some good weather back from uh, the island with us because it's been really, really nice here all week since we got back. It's been sunny and probably mid to low 50s, which is we'll take it for this time of year. And it's been dry. It's been sunny. So, you know what that means? Yep. We had to mow the lawn today. <laughs> yes, we did. Hey, Tom, what's up? What's up? How are you? So, yeah, we actually mowed the lawn for the first time this year. And uh, if it stayed dry, we could probably mow all year round, at least once a month, like November, December, January, February, at least. The grass never quits growing. So, knife dude, what's up? Just had a cup of badass coffee right on. Right on. That's cool. I hope you like it, man. Hey, Andrew, how are you? Glad to have you. Grim. Grim is here. Awesome. Hey, Dylan's here. Very cool. We're going to talk about you in a minute, Dylan. We certainly are. Very, very cool. So, yes, I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I think it's supposed to start raining tomorrow. That's why we ended up uh, mowing the lawn today because you got to do it when it's dry. And even... Even now, it wasn't completely dry, so it was a pain, but we got it done. Hey, Paul, what's up, buddy? Glad to have you. Tim's here. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Right on. Very good. So, what are you guys carrying today? Let's get that out of the way right now, first off, and then I'll show you what I was carrying. Well, first, I'll show you the coin, and then I'll show you what I was carrying. But what do you guys have in your pockets today? Let's take a look. Oh, let's see. F5.5, nice, nice. Let's see. Best Tech Exploit, nice. Korean War Clasp Knife, nice. 943, very nice, Andrew. Velox 2 and a Bigfoot Tinker, nice. ZT0452 in carbon fiber. A riffle, nice Matt. How do you like that riffle? Small Centros Proto, ooh, and a biome, nice. Mini Freak and an Odium. Let's see here. Mini Adamus, nice Grim. Modded PM2 and a Swiss Army Knife Classic SD, very good. Last Ranger has the Wyvern. Women Carry Knives has the EZC, one of my favorites, yes indeed. CVV Keen Natter, modded by ODC for EDC. Oh, very cool. Rough Rider Micarta Work Knife. Very good, Sue. One of my favorites as well. Rat One. Awesome. 
The wonderful MBK Slayback for Zach. Very nice. A very kind gesture from a... Oh, yes, indeed. A very kind gesture. Excellent. Spider Kawatu. Love it. Let's see. Nebu Cloud had... Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. Griptilian from Zach. Very good. Oh, the SMKW exclusive bug out for Form D. I was looking at that today. Robert, hello. You got the Proella. Proella? God, I, I can never say that right. Imagine that. The carbon fiber Butron all day. Ha ha, I said it right. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Savivi Key Natter dyed purple. Very good. Mini Freak and a K Bar Necker. Cool, cool. CJRB Feldspar and a Mazarin Plow. Burgundy Micarta. Nice, Mark. Savivi Elementum. Very good, William. PM2 and S110V today. Nice. Oh, from St. Nick's. Excellent. Case Muskrat Carbon Fiber. Hey, Chicago, what's up? Yeah, yeah, the knife community was going wild a little bit earlier. That's for sure. Hey, Terrell Johnson. Welcome, welcome. XM24, very good. One Gun has the Freeman 451. That's a really nice knife. Oh, yeah, I said it right. Oh, William, thank you so much, man. William, we got to give William some love. There's some SKL love for William. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your donation, William. Hey, Lorenzo, what's up, buddy? What are you carrying today, man? Oh, Ashcan had the Cursaw Static. I missed that. Right on. I think I got everybody else. Right on. Very good, very good. Uh, Blade Ogre. Oh, the Protec Emerson CQC7 and a Jimbo 2. Nice. Very cool. I don't know, Tom. I haven't seen Monster yet. Like I said, it's daylight savings time, so I kind of expected a little bit smaller crowd tonight. I know I had a couple people let me know that, hey, man, I'm just not going to make it with daylight savings time, which I completely understand, of course. Well, first off, let's look at the coin. We'll check out the coin, and then I'll show you what I was carrying. This coin... It's a memento. It says Semper Paratus. That means always prepared. And it was actually the coin from what used to be known as the Sharp Spot Facebook group. Hey, Scotch and Things, what's up, man? Hello. Oh, would you have ZT0308? Nice. Nice. Glad to have you, man. Hello, Mariana. Very good. Glad to have you. Hey, Rick, what's up? But yes, indeedy. Uh, it used to be known as a sharp spot. It is now known as Edge Addicted. Uh, I'm actually an admin on the site or on the Facebook page. But this is kind of a shout out to uh, some really good friends that, you know, they just decided to step away. And a few of us took over the site for them and we're running with it. So very, very cool. My commemorative coin. And it's, I had to get number 12 because, well, I picked number 12 because we were married in December. So, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of, I guess, one of my favorite numbers, right? I know if Nelly watches this, she goes, that's right. It's one of your favorite numbers. It is. I mean, yeah, it is, really. Got the good old SKL Southern Edge Knife Work Tumbler. The official Saturday Night Live tumbler. Just water tonight, guys. Just water tonight. Super, super thirsty. Oh, my goodness. But, yes, indeedy. Don't forget, guys, if you're ever shopping on Southern Edge Work, southernedgeknifeworks.com, use the code Big Red. Save you 15% and $5 flat rate shipping. Sentimental. That is the word I was looking for. Yes, very much so. Very much so. But what was I carrying today? I was carrying, if you guys saw the uh, YouTube short earlier, you know what I was carrying. But let's get the, we'll get the tumbler out of the way for now. Let's put it over here. But I was carrying this. The Savibi Brazen. 
there are some good posts over there. Hey, Crispy EDC, what's up? How you doing? Good to have you. But yes, indeedy. This, now, I mean, you guys know me and Tantos, but I tell you what, guys, this, this is a really, really uh, well-made, it's a really nice knife, guys. Let's just be fair. I mean, you got to give props where props are due, and I mean, yeah. This is a really, really nice knife. I know it's a Tanto, but guys, hey, like I said, fair is fair. You got to be fair. And it's a really nice knife. It really, really is. Yep, you had yours in purple today. Right on. Hey, Stuff We Do, how you doing? Glad to have you. Yeah, it's a, man, I tell you what, the action on this thing, when you got the flipper tab, studs now somebody asked me if i could i could spidey flick it and there no <laughs> no way um well for one it's really hard to get in behind that thumb stud you can kind of see it there you don't have a lot of room and even if you could man that detent is really dialed in for that flipper and the thumb studs so i mean like with the thumb studs it all the knife almost feels assisted really it, it does it, the detent not so much with the flipper but with those thumb studs, it really does. I mean, that detent is dialed in. Really, really nice and really well done. So, hey, Manny, what's up, buddy? Glad to have you. But yes, super. It's a really nice knife. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Hey, Mike Schultz, how you doing, man? Glad to have you. Yeah, it's, I mean, I like the blacked out. And it's super, super comfortable, man. Wow. Such a, such a comfortable knife in hand. So, you know, I'll tell you what, guys. If there was an, ever a Tanto that was going to turn me to the dark side, so to speak, it very well might be this one. I I'll tell you. I, I think I liked it. I think I like this one even more than I like the Keen Natter, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't know. It it's tough. But this is it's just a really nice knife. My goodness. Very... Very nice. Definitely check this one out. If you're looking for, you know, a good Civivi knife, it's not going to break the bank. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. I I'm digging it. Definitely, definitely digging it. And you'll probably, you'll probably hear that again in my review. But do I like it better than the Butron eggs and ham? Um, well, that's not a Tanto. So I can't really, I can't really go there. No, and that's just it. Civivi, really any of Civivi's knives, especially now that they're going to the, you know, like the S35s and, and that, the prices, Civivi's prices have always been good. I mean, really, they, they really have. I mean, this one you're looking at D2, you know, and what do they say here? What do they, let's see, what's the... So MSRP is 58 on that. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Hey, Leo, how you doing? Good to have you. The JB approved tolerable Tanto. No, I, and I tell you what, guys, the Keen Natter, that was a good knife too. I mean, they are. They're very well-made knives. I, I, you're not, I'm not going to take that from them. Just because I don't like Tantos, I'm not going to say it's not a good knife. That's not even remotely how I roll. Not even. It, it, they're good knives. I've only had one, one Civivi knife that I didn't say over, overly positive things about. I think we're all pretty much aware of which, that, which one that one was. So, tolerable Tantos sounds like a low-end superhero. <laughs> oh... I did hear something about a drop point brazen. That was, that, you know, uh, you know, that, that might be the one I get. That might be the one. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. The key netter that, well, I'll, all of these ones that I've had, I mean, this one's, that one's pretty droppy, man. This one's pretty darn droppy, too. It's coming down. There's not a whole lot holding it back, so. 
Looking forward to the button lock elementum. Right on, Leo. Um, that is that is one that I, I was that is one that I was unfortunately disappointed in. So yeah, I, I would agree, Peter. They do. They do feel like, you know, a little bit a little bit more expensive knives. And well, and to be to be fair, with these newer steels and stuff, they have elevated their prices a little bit. Not bad. They're still well with well within reason, I think that's my opinion. But your key natter got your thumb today. Yeah. Oh, just glad you're back, Rennie. Glad to have you. Ooh, a micarta. A micarta drop point brazen. Well, that just might be the one I get then. Yes, indeedy. S35VN tenacious. Oh. Oh, stepping up to tenacious, huh? I wonder if it'll finally get some love. Oh, my goodness. That poor knife. The poor tenacious, man. And a red G10. Nice. Nice. Yes. I'm liking where this is going. Yes, indeedy. Oh, let's see here. Catching up on the... All right. All right. I'm all caught up now. Very cool. Hey, Don. Oh, no, I wasn't. Don, how is Civivi Damascus? Um, well... I don't have any. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, the one I really, I did kind of like was the uh, the riffle, the riffle in the uh, sandalwood with that little bit darker Damascus. That it looked really nice. Um, but as far as like sharpening and stuff, I just don't have a whole lot. The tenacious is awesome at thirty five, but they cost fifty. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of, what went to 98? Is that the S35 Tenacious for 98 bucks? That wouldn't surprise me. Come on, it's a Spyderco knife for this 35. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me one bit <laughs> if it's $100. Not, a, not one bit. Man, Zach is killing it. Zach is killing it with those links tonight. Thank you very much, my friend. We got to get some, I know it's hard to see, but there's my Zach attacks. It just kind of looks like blue dashed lines. Oh, sad face. <laughs> Scrib Crib, what's up? Glad to have you. Glad to have you here. Hyperlinks for days. Yes, indeedy. Well, since Dylan is here, we're going to talk about Dylan for a minute. We got to talk about Dylan. And when we talk about Dylan, what do we always say? What do we always say when we talk about Dylan? I know somebody knows. I know somebody knows. Come on. Let me see it. Let me see it, guys. Come on. You can do it. Let me do it. There it is. Zach got it. Hashtag swipe right for Dylan. Exactly. That's what we need to do is hashtag swipe right for Dylan. I went on Dylan Shopify and I bought a bunch of his stickers so I could have some Dylan Mallory and Mallory Design stickers in my swag bag. So yes, indeedy. He actually has a Shopify that you can pick up all sorts of swag. Not only stickers, but he's got coffee mugs, he's got t-shirts, he's got hoodies, all sorts of good stuff. But yes, indeedy, we always swipe right for Dylan. Yes, indeed, we must do this. Oh, of course, Dylan, you're darn right. We love Dylan here. And we know Nelly loves Dylan. I don't think that's any secret. I swipe right for no man. <laughs> yeah, the other Dylan. Other Dylan. Other Dylan. Hey, OCD for EDC. What's up? Justin, uh, the trip was fantastic, man. It was absolutely fantastic. Yes, indeedy. A scotch and things. The PLR3? Yeah. Uh, do it, man. Uh, that's all I can say is do it. 
it is yeah it's an awesome awesome knife it is where's it at oh i think it's right here yep i'll show it again real quick and use code swipe right for 15 percent off there you go guys there you go. Use code use code hashtag swipe right for fifteen percent off on his Shopify. There you go. Very cool. But yes, indeedy, there is the Pilar three. Now, I didn't really say this in my review, but this version it's kind of a it is kind of a Pilar Pete combo. And I mean, they're both Voxnes designs, and. So that kind of makes sense. And I know somebody on my on my review said, well, it looks too much like a Pete to be a Pilar. Uh, it's kind of a combination of the two. And if you're going to combine the two, I, why, I would think you would use the name Pilar instead of Pete because the Pilar was a much better seller than the Pete I think ever probably will be. So it, it may, only makes sense to me that you would do that. So, I mean, yeah. It is. It's kind of, you got that more elongated blade like the Pete. And you can, and I can spidey flick it for days. So that's why I like it. But there you go. That is the Pilar 3. And I really like that little pop of color in the backspacer. Really, really like that. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's just, it's kind of good. And the Pilar just bit me. God dang. Yep, it bit me. This thing is, guys, I think that, see that? I know you can't see it. I think that came from the Pilar the day I was doing my review. Hey, CK, what's up? But I never, I did not know that happened. I didn't know that happened. So, yeah. All of a sudden, I was like, it, I was, it was like an hour after I did my review I'm like, what is going on with my finger? And I was like, it's cut. It's cut. And I was like, what in the world? Yep. Yep, sure enough. It had to have been the Pilar. Never knew it, though. Never knew it bit me. It just bit me that time, though. I know that. Ah, thank you, Todd. Thank you very much. Yeah, Hulk smash. Smash like button. Do it. But there you go. That is the Pilar 3. Very cool. Yeah, exactly. Life, there you go, Mike. Live streams. All right, guys, change it back to zero. <laughs> exactly. That's good. Yeah, evidently so, Z, man. It's got a taste for blood. Golly, that thing is... That thing is bleeding. Oh, you're what? Yeah, you're what? seven got gotcha? you? Oh, yeah, I bet. It is, man. That little thing is sharp. That little thing is sharp. It didn't, it barely touched me and it got me good. It's not bad enough for the finger cut kit. Yeah, no safety bonus this week. No. No, not at all. No, it's not really a gusher. It's just, it barely, I mean, it's barely even a thing, but I guess I'm prone to bleeding or something. Piranha Knives Auto? Hmm. Anybody got a Piranha Knives Auto they're looking to get rid of? Leo's looking for one. Yeah, exactly. Zero days since last incident. Oh, well. All right, what are we going to look at? Let's take a look at this one, guys. I am super, super stoked to have this one in the collection. But this is the new Finch Knife Runtly in, and this is the best way I can pronounce it, Mukuruti Wood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to you gotta change it. You got to change it out, you know. Get a... Change it out a quarter at a time or something like that. That's true, Justin. Very good. Very true. But this little guy. Oh, Beefer. Beefer, thank you, brother. Thank you very much. 
That is very generous of you, my friend. Mm, crusty wood? I tell you what, man. I've had so many different suggestions on how to pronounce it. But Mukuruti sounds about, about as best as it's going to be. What's that? You got a present on its way. Sending it to Zach with his present. Oh, well, thank you, Zenny. That's very nice of you. Yeah, I like how they did the. I like how they did the the shield again. Definitely. And of course, it's not gonna focus on it. Why would it? But I mean, it's a runtly. I really like how they did the. See how you've got the the stone wash on the grind and then the satin flat. I really really like that. <laughs> I tell you, Rennie, I've said it many, many different ways. But Mukarudi sounds about about as best as it's gonna be, I think. But really, really like the grain in this. No, I don't no, no, no. They definitely don't have that wood in Kansas. It's an African wood. But I really like the grain in it. Yeah, I love the blade too, Beaver. Definitely. But some of them, man, if you've seen some of them in the pictures, man, the grain in that wood is just absolutely amazing. And it's just, I mean, it's a great, it's not a big knife. It's a, it's a utility knife. That's really what it is with that blade. But yeah, it's, it's sweet. No, 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 no. Definitely, definitely not, in, not in Kansas anymore when you're, when you're getting that. When you're looking for Mukuruti wood, definitely not in Kansas. But sweet, sweet little knife. Three months till boot camp. All right. It needs a knot hole. <laughs> it does have, let's see, where's it at? It does have kind of a, and if I can get it to focus, you do kind of have like a lightning bolt. Kind of, sort of. Come on. Right. Yeah. There it is. You do kind of have a little bit of a lightning bolt there coming off the pivot. So, all oh, the holiday, man. They need to make more of the holiday and the white ox bone. Those things would sell like mad. I hope they have more coming. Enough mods, but do you need a camp chef? Camp chef. Wow. Make a mean breakfast? <laughs> sure, why not? Which service? Me? Which service? Navy. 20 years. Yes. Yes, indeedy. Oh, which service for Ethan? He's Navy too. He's going into the Navy as well. Sorry about that. Yep. He's going, Topher, what's up, buddy? Uh, greatly appreciate you stopping by to say hi, brother. Yes, yes sir. Thanks for, thanks for coming up. Yeah, I know it's a little bit, it's going to be a little bit late for people tonight. Like I said, I knew, wow, we got, still got 73 here. That's pretty good. We'll take that any day of the week. Yes, indeedy. Ugly pension. Are you talking about military pension? Uh, dude, I like getting paid for just waking up every day. I'll take it. <laughs> I will definitely take it. CB for 25 years? Oh, Minesweeper. Oh, Vietnam. Wow. Right on. Exactly, Shane. Yes, indeedy. We used to have a big CB detachment here, but I don't think they're here anymore. <laughs> Chris is going terminal. Chris is going terminal. For all of you that don't know, that means Chris is going on terminal leave and he will be retiring from the Navy. I work with Chris, so very, very cool, brother. I'm looking. It's very, very nice on the other side. Just let me tell you that. <laughs> Oh, I got you. Right on. Right on, Chicago. Yes, indeedy. So, yes, he will be retiring, what, 
what did you say? 22 years? 23 years. So, yes, indeedy. You will be very, very happy, Chris. I can almost bet. I'd be willing to put a couple bucks on that fact. 22, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought you said the other day. 22 years. You missed your opportunity, though, man. You missed your opportunity for yelling when my hard hat fell in the water the other day. <laughs> I was so waiting for the announcement over the PA. Hard hats are required. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> you missed your opportunity to yell at me. <laughs> my goodness. You're darn right, Shane. You're darn right. I have not been clean shaven since the day I got out of the Navy. Hey, one minute. What's happening? How you doing? Oh, very cool, Chicago. Very cool indeed. You didn't feel like running that far? <laughs> right on. Right on. Evil E, what's up? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, let's talk about another knife. Well, let's talk about another Finch knife real quick. Now, I've done a review of this knife before, just like the Runtley. But I had to pick up the gray and yellow Cimarron. Now, if you guys saw my unboxing, you know why. But this knife, it just reminded me of the Western Metal Art. That's the Nebraska State Bird. And just kind of the coloring on it. That's just that's immediately what came to mind. So I, I had to have this. I had to have this one. And the other one, the blue and green one, the Seahawks colored one that I like to call it, it went to a, to a Seahawks fan that is very near and dear to pretty much all of us here tonight. So it just, it had to be where it had to be. And I had to have this one. <laughs> What's up, Corbin? Hey, Ian. Hello. Glad to have you. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, I really liked. I really liked this one, and that's kind of funny because I'm not big on yellow, you know, and stuff. But I, it just what this one reminded me of. I had to have it. Had to have it. Oh, you bet. You bet. Finches, man. I tell you what. Finch has got me. Finch has definitely got me, and I, I'm loving it. How long since I've lived in Nebraska? Uh, I joined the Navy in 1989. That's the last time I, I actually lived in Nebraska. But 17. The Finches are gray and yellow. Oh, but there you go. So there you go. That's a good... Uh, that's a good representation then. <laughs> yeah. John R., how you doing? Glad to have you. Very cool. So, but yes, indeedy. I yeah, Finch is definitely I'm all I'm all aboard the Finch train. They're going to really have to do something just outlandish to to kick me off the train. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, Iowa City? Yeah. Yeah, I've actually been to a football game in Iowa City. Yes, I have. We are still here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. What's my favorite meal? Oh, my goodness. Well, if you'd seen me, <laughs> if you'd seen me, you'd probably say all of them. <laughs> but I really like breakfast. I'm a big breakfast guy. I'll eat breakfast any meal of the day. And it doesn't matter... What time? I'm not huge on pancakes, but, you know, omelets, breakfast burritos, eggs, bacon, sausage, you know, all that good stuff. Did the Hawkeyes lose that day? No. Or yes, I'm sorry, the Hawkeyes, yes, they lost that day. I won't eat your eggs and ham, but I do like me some eggs and ham, that's for sure. Yeah, you do. You live pretty close to Iowa City, don't you, Justin? The wagon broke down. I think that's what happened with mine. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
if I had to pick one, bacon or sausage, I'd have to go sausage. Uh, yeah, I'm a sausage guy. Where did I go to basic training? San Diego. That's where I went. I've never eaten at a Waffle House. I have not, Dylan. But yeah, San Diego, Shane. That's where I went to uh, boot camp. I am definitely a sausage guy. I really like sausage. Old? Am I old? Well, yeah, I am kind of old. I'll be the big 5-0 this year. Oh, you were in San Diego in 89? Really? Right on. Yeah. What company were you? That's cool. That is true, Gordon. I, I can't argue that point. Any pig is good pig. You're right. You're right. You got a valid point. Valid point. <laughs> Still a pup. <laughs> 50 is the new 30. Um, tell my knees that. <laughs> yeah, tell my knees that. <laughs> That's 20 years of the military, though. They did a number on my knees. Yeah, all Navy basics at, Bo at Great Lakes now. They closed down Orlando. They closed down San Diego. You passed 50 some years ago. <laughs> October to December. I was there um, June to August. I was there June to August. That's when I was there. I turned 18 in boot camp. I graduated boot camp a week after my 18th birthday. So right around the end of August is when I got out of boot camp. Oh, yeah, we like talking about food from time to time here. We definitely like talking about food. Food, booze, what else do we talk about? Music, we talk about music quite a bit. But hey, guys, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, my buddy Zeb, Dual Sport Survival. Um, Man, that guy's family... I swear to gosh, man, if it wasn't for bad luck, they'd have no luck at all. I mean, you know, here a while back, yeah, we talk about cars. We do talk about cars, too. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. Yeah. But uh, my good buddy Zeb, man, his brother had that accident here almost a couple years ago. And now, just recently, his dad was in a really terrible motorcycle accident. A woman actually hit him with her car while he was on his motorcycle. So... It's a really, really bad situation, but he set up a GoFundMe to help his dad out, and it's, there you go, Zach just threw up a link for it, um, you know, I would ask you, you know, maybe skip your cup of coffee tomorrow, if you swing by, you know, and get yourself a cup of coffee or or whatever, Think about checking out that GoFundMe. Uh, Zeb is just an absolutely awesome dude. He's a fantastic part of the community. I know he's he's had a rough time, and his channel is kind of uh, taking a back seat because of it. And I can definitely understand that. But, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Chicago. There's two things we don't talk about during Saturday Night Live, and that's politics and religion. So that's my answer. That's my answer to your question. Um, oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. There's De Zeb right there. How you doing, buddy? Glad if you've been here, I missed you. But glad to have you, brother. Wanted to give your dad's GoFundMe a shout out. So, no, it doesn't sound like they ever caught her. So, but I hope they do. I hope they do. All right. Well, good to have you, buddy. Glad you're here. So, yeah, he's a, yeah, it's a bad situation, but you know what? We'll try to, uh, we'll try to help out as much as we can, and I definitely will as well. So, hi, Manette. 
Hello. How are you? Glad to have you. So thank you guys for joining. And like I said, if you guys can maybe skip your cup of coffee tomorrow, check out Zeb's, the GoFundMe for Zeb's dad. I would greatly appreciate it. So <coughs> oh, you can't breathe water. Just in case you didn't know. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can't breathe water. <clears throat> Let's see. <coughs> Doggone. That didn't work out too well. Yeah, yeah, don't breathe water. That that ends up bad. <laughs> But let's take it another look at another knife. This is the Best Tech Swift. Now this is a very very interesting knife. You've kind of got that kind of got that upswept blade. I'm really really digging the micarta on this one. And if you can see there, you've got some milling in it that really really aids in your grip. Super, super comfortable. Now, this one's in D2 as well. I didn't spend enough time in the movie because <laughs> I can't breathe water. No, no, no. Definitely not. No, I'm definitely not drown proof. No, no. That is definitely not me. But, and you want to talk about another dropper. All these knives, man, the actions on these knives are crazy. I already got myself one, so let's not do it again. Let's get it past the detent. There we go. But terrific action on this. Super drop. Now, as you can see there, you got some really good jimping, but that, see that swedge across the top of that? It goes all the way down. And it looks, no, I was not a Navy SEAL. No way. Nowhere. Water drops? Yeah, yeah, there are. There's like, there's water drops. On the pocket clip. Yes, indeedy. Did I look? No, I wasn't that skinny. <laughs> I definitely wasn't as skinny as the Cracker Jack man. Never been that skinny. <laughs> but as far as uniform goes, yeah. Yeah, I probably did at some point. Probably looked like him. I like the blues much better than the whites. My pictures? Teardrops? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I guess it could be teardrops, too. But deep carry pocket clip. I do. I like this swedge as well. Best tech, man. you got to get on the recessed screw. Got to get on the recessed screw train. And I know somebody commented on that, that, yes, it does. When you go through that extra, hey, Carlos, what's up, buddy? When you do go, when you do recess those screws like that, yep, it's extra milling. And extra milling means extra cost. I do get that. But, you know, there are so many companies that do it that don't charge outlandish prices for their knives that that's why I'm, I'm not sure why we don't see it on more knives, to be perfectly honest with you. That's my opinion. I mean, yeah, that, that's just my opinion. I mean, let's see. Okay, Savivi. Savivi's got it. Recessed pocket clip screws. And that's a $58 knife. It can be done. <laughs> it can definitely be done. So, but super, super comfortable, right hand or left hand. It is, this one is only right hand carry, but it feels good. Oh, nice. Scotch knife. Very good. Very good. But again, really good action. That detent seems to be dialed in pretty darn well. And I'll tell you what, guys, I usually, I normally say I haven't met a best tech knife that I haven't liked. Well, uh, I'd have to look real quick. I don't know if the rat does it or not. I'd have to look. Yes, it does. 
Yes, it does. It kind of does have a little bit of a trailing point to it. Yes, it does. I know, stupid camera doesn't want to focus. It, it's very slight, but it does kind of. Let's see here. Yeah, just very, very so slightly. But it, but it does. It definitely does. Yes, I love the Texel. The Texel is one of my favorite best techs. Definitely. Yes, we were talking about bacon earlier, Zeb. Bacon, sausage, all that good stuff. But, and there again, I really do like the grip on that micarta. This one, another best tech that I do like. Best Tech's knives are usually built pretty darn well. And you know how I just said I haven't met a Best Tech <laughs> that I didn't like? Well, I met one. <laughs> it's this one. And this one is the Best Tech Free Fall. And yeah, I'm I'm really, really perplexed on this one. Now, as far as the build quality and as far as that goes, it's done well. It's done very well. The build quality is done well, but if you'll notice, take a look at it, these they they appear to be really different sized. And Who's a toll troll? And when you open it, you have both of these sort of, you know, like dagger style. But due to the size of the knife, it's really hard to find a good grip. Best tech. It's all one word. I mean, it's all one word, so I say best tech. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, to to get a to grip it like this, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it needs to be just a little bit longer to have good control of it in this grip. If it was, you know maybe even three quarters of an inch longer, just to give you a little bit more control, it would be good. Now, if you wanted to, like, there's, I cannot find a comfortable place to put my thumb because this piece right here is always jabbing me in the thumb. So, it's, yeah. Now, I could hold it like this, and because you've got kind of see how the blade you you have basically have a choil on each side, you can kind of hold it like that. But there again, you're still kind of getting poked <laughs> by these things. So honestly, this grip is okay. If it was just a little bit longer, it would be really good. This is honestly about the most comfortable grip for this knife, and. I guess I need to go hang out with Peter at the gas station with this knife because, I mean, there's really only one thing this grip is good for, and I really don't do that ever. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You're just cringing watching me handle it. Well, yeah, kind of. It's, it is, oh, doggone it. I knew you were going to say that. Um, let's see. And you know, I hate to... I mean, that's not what I'm here to do. You know, I'm not here to really gouge a knife, but I, I really find a hard... It's a really hard to get a good grip on that. Uh, Jason Clark. Jason Clark was the one that designed it. 
So yeah, I want to give you something. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, Zach, thank you. The hippos are peeking at me. Yeah, pokey stabby to the user. Yeah, it is kind of. It is. Yeah, if that's just it. That's just it, Gary. If the handle was just a little bit longer and I had just a little bit better control, because um, you do have, I mean, you do have some grooves for your fingers. So that does aid for sure. That does help. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking too, Andrew. Just a little bit bigger, and it would be it would be all right for me, for me. So, all right, buddy. Hey, Carlos, gotta feed the baby. Right on, brother. All right. Thank you for joining us, man. Always good to see you, my friend. Take it easy. Take care of that baby. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, yeah, that one's just kind of, honestly, it's probably not even, I, I haven't carried it yet. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's probably not going to find a whole lot of time in my pocket. So, anyway, just a little bigger. Yeah, well. Don't feel lonely. Don't feel lonely, Robert. Um, is there a certain knife? No. Well, I mean, a lot of the guys on surface ships, they carry, you know, the uh, the sailor's knives with the marlin spike and the, the sheep's foot blade. On a submarine, I mean, I carried a 110 for quite a long time in the Navy. I certainly did. I carried a 110 for quite a while in the Navy, probably, oh, I'd say probably close to 10 years. Yes, Marlin Spike. Um, let's see, Marlin Spike. Oh, they might all be downstairs because I take them to work with me. Yeah, they are, doggone it. I don't have a Marlin Spike knife up here. They're all downstairs because I, I take them to work with me. P38, the can opener. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm super thirsty tonight. Didn't Zach have to, they were great shears. <laughs> Tim dozed off. He missed the bacon. <laughs> um, on surface ships, yeah. And I mean, that's mainly uh, like your bosun's mates and stuff like that. The guys that actually work with the ropes and the knots and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The, the marlin spike is used for like splicing ropes, splicing wires, uh, that type of thing. It's just a, yeah. And I don't, I don't have one up here. They're all downstairs. So but yeah, that, that's what they're, it helps them splice ropes together and, and stuff like that. So what is that? Bacon Scouts? <laughs> Baconscouts.com. Lou, what's up, buddy? What is up? Oh, we got one more, one more knife to show you, and it is another best tech. And I'll tell you right now, it is another best tech that I like. This is the best tech Arctic. Again, another D2 knife from best tech, blacked out, black wash blade. Yes, they are, Gordon. Yes, it is. It's good for a shackle key, too. That's what I use it for at work. Uh, but this one, another another really, really good feeling Best Tech. Again, the action is really, really good. Detent. Detent is, again, dialed in <clears throat> really, really well. Recess pocket clues, screws, Best Tech. Come on now. Come on. But now I'm usually really not, 
big on, you know, the holes in the knives, but you know, the way my fingers hit it, it actually makes for a really good grip. I, I don't know. I don't know where they came up the name Arctic. You know, it, it, it just is. Yeah, yeah, you can use them for quite a different thing, the the Marlin Spike. But now you you have holes in this one, no raindrops, no raindrops or no tears in this one. It's just just holes in the pocket clip, but a deep carry clip. So I like that. Now this one's a little bit thicker. When I hold it in my hand, it just feels a little bit thicker, and that's what she said. But uh, the it's a really really, I'm digging it. You got a nice landing pad for your thumb there. This is how, this, 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 not this, this, right, this, not this, ow. Um, but the, I like it. It's another best tech that I like. Somebody said, hey, Shredder. Is Shredder here? Shredder, Shredder is here. Hi, man, I missed you. Sorry about that. How you doing? What? What? I don't know what you're talking about, Zeb. I don't know what you're talking about. What do I think about Mora knives? Mora makes a great knife. Yes, indeedy. Mora makes a fantastic knife. But Best Tech, Best Tech makes fantastic knife too. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, mm, mm, mm. I don't know. But super comfortable. I don't know. You might even like this one, Peter. It's a little bit, a little bit thicker. This might be one. I don't know if I don't know if you've had the opportunity to check it out, to check out the Arctic yet. That might be one more in your wheelhouse potentially. I mean, let's see. What's the overall length of it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the overall length is just over eight and a quarter. Uh, your grip length is one, two, three. Right about four, and you can use the, you can choke up. You definitely can. You've got enough room. If your fingers are a little bit bigger than mine, you might come off. Kind of got to kind of do the whole trigger action there on the flipper tab. Kind of choke up and stay back on that flipper tab. But, yeah, I don't know. You might, you might, you might not. But you might like that one. All right, Ethan. Take care, buddy. Good luck. The platypus? Yeah, I like the platypus. The platypus was a good one. Yeah, I do like the blade shape, too. The blade shape kind of reminds me of the uh, backlash. So I do like that blade shape, for sure. Didier, hello. How are you? Glad to have you. Oregon's here. What's up, buddy? Glad to have you. Well, yeah, it's not a bad little knife. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So, you know, as Meatloaf said, we've got three best tech knives on the table. And, you know, Meatloaf says two out of three ain't bad. So... We'll just we'll just go with meatloaf and say two out of three ain't bad. Hello, good morning to you, Didier. Hello. Oh my goodness. So don't be sad. Exactly. Why? Because two out of three ain't bad. Exactly. 
<laughs> I would do anything for love, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. I'd do that, and I'd do that, or that, but I wouldn't do that. No, that is true. <laughs> Oh, she got a laser tag tournament where? In Utah? Oh, cool. Right on. <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad. Well, don't tell Chad. Don't tell Chad. More food, meatloaf. Yeah, more food. There you go. More food references. Hey, George, what's up? You were jamming to meatloaf? Right on. Very good. Very good. <laughs> You'd have to close your eyes. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was a good one. Oh, all right. Yes, indeed. So a quick recap, guys. And then we'll uh, give some stuff away. But, of course... We checked out the Finch Knife Cimarron in the gray and yellow. I affectionately call it the, me the Metal Art Knife. The gorgeous, absolutely wonderful, new Runtley in Mukurudi wood. That's what I'm calling it. That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Mukurudi wood. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Love it. My carry for today, and even though it's a Tanto, it's a really, really good knife. The Civivi Brazen. Definitely, guys. You Tanto fans, and definitely you Civivi fans, definitely check out the Brazen. Gotta say it. Best Tech, we just looked at that one. The Best Tech Arctic, really, really nice. Reviews coming on all of these knives. Well, I've done reviews and I did unboxing on these two, so I probably won't do, I might do a quick review on the Mukuruti, just because it's so, um, yeah, it's nice. Hey, what's up, Jake? What's up? Glad to have you, man. And then of course, we have the Swift, another really, Really nice one that I am digging from Best Tech. And, of course, I do anything for love, but I won't do that. The Best Tech Free Fall. Yeah, it's just, it's an, it's an odd little knife, guys. It's an odd little knife. Um... I, I don't I don't want to bad mouth it or anything. That's all I'm gonna say. It's just it's it's a really odd little knife. But but it's time to give some stuff away. What do you think? Should we give some stuff away? I think we should give some stuff away. I don't know. Y'all are still talking about food. And everything else. Ah, <laughs> oh, Z-Man. Pre-ordered the Nimble yesterday. Oh, cool. Right on. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your donation. Greatly appreciate that, my friend. Oh, I'm out of water. I just have ice left. So what are we going to give away tonight? Well, 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 we should probably give away some swag. We should probably give away some swag, I think. So there's a bunch of the swag. We got the big stickers out there. We got a big old Last Ranger sticker. The Riddle of Steel. <laughs> And we got the big old swag bag. We got some Zach stuff. Of course, we got the big red EDC. We got some Finch. 
Uh, we do have some Long Island Knife Guy in there. We got some Knives Fast, some Smoky Mountain, some Shoe Monster Tech, oh, Key Bar. There might even be a Wii in there. All sorts of good stuff. And then, of course, oh, we definitely have a traditional pocketknives.com sticker, but we also have a traditional pocketknives.com pen. I stole your heart. Oh, right on, Zenny. There you go. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you very much. Some swag. Yup, we got all sorts of swag. Oh, what else? Well, I tell you what, guys. Later on this week... Oh, yeah, there is definitely a Mallory sticker in there. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is definitely a Mallory sticker in there. I think in this one, there's an M. There's an M in this one. The M, the Mallory M. So... Uh, later on, coming up this week, we've got some new stuff coming from Titan Survival. Not this. This is an emergency survival blanket. They sent this along for me to give away in my giveaways, but I've got a couple of products from Titan Survival. As you guys know, from time to time, they help me, uh, or they ask me to help them let you guys know on what products are coming to the store, their website. So I've got a couple of really cool products. One of them you're going to see here really soon, beginning of this coming week. And then the next one, I think they want a kind of like an early April release. So we're going to throw in, they threw in some of these emergency survival blankets. So we're going to throw one of those in there for the giveaway. So, oh, and did I ask... I don't know if you answered me earlier, Zach. I don't remember. But are you going live tomorrow? Let's find out if Zach's going live tomorrow. Oh, I got a bunch of these little Manhattan Portage pouches. Um, I bought these quite a while back. And then um, our good buddy Shadowborn Hanks started making his little EDC pouches. So I just kind of tucked these away. But I've still got them. So you know what? I'm going to put one in the giveaway tonight. I actually have one of these in my truck. I throw my change in it. So it's actually a good little, it's kind of like a big old lefty. What's up? Hey, what's up, man? Sorry I missed you guys' live earlier. Uh, there was a whole bunch of people going live earlier. That was kind of crazy. But I did not make it. I apologize. Please forgive me. save the kittens <laughs> so cool little bag you can put all sorts of stuff in it this i don't know can i open it oh yeah i'll open it and look at it but well you can take all that stuff off but yeah it's just a little just a little bag got some poison for the trolls oh lou oh man Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. You're awesome, my friend. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like a big... I mean, that's what I use mine for in my truck. I throw all my change in it so my change just isn't bouncing around, you know, my center console. I definitely... Definitely use it for that. Thank you so much, Lou. So we got that. And I'm going to give away a knife. But I'm going to give you a choice. Zach's going live tomorrow at noon. Very good. Noon Pacific time. Noon Pacific tomorrow. So that'll come a l an hour <laughs> quicker tonight since we have to change our clocks ahead but don't forget to do that guys don't forget to change your clocks ahead tonight it's daylight savings time so hey karina well good to have you good to have you so i'm going to give you a choice of knives tonight 
we have this little beauty. We had the orange, kind of the red and orange. Now we have the kind of OD to bright green. This is the mini. Very cool little knife. I am so digging this little guy. It's pretty cool. But this comes to us courtesy of our good friend, Last Ranger. Thank you so much. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it is. Yep. Yep. Definitely, definitely. So you get your choice. You can either choose this one or, or, or you can choose this one. Now, this is the little Fat Boy EDC pocket tank. from off-grid knives. This little bugger, it's actually a little button lock. This little bugger is kind of a cool little knife. However you want to spell it, Chris. However you want to spell it. Jesse, what's up, bud? <laughs> this little guy, this is just kind of a fun little knife. And this was so very, very graciously donated by off-grid knives. I uh, was talking to them. We were talking about swag. They said, sure, I'll send you some swag. They sent swag, and they sent this little guy. So very, very cool. Oh, is that Molly's birthday? Is it really? Uh, your winner from a few weeks ago. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So yes, indeedy. Well, happy birthday, Molly. So yes, indeedy. You can have your choice of those two knives. So we'll put this one up here as well. So as always, guys, you will be guessing numbers tonight. You will be guessing numbers. You will be guessing now. Let me. Oh yeah. All right, are you, let me make sure I got Rennie. Are you adding that one to this giveaway, Rennie? Let me, let me get clear with that. I wanna make sure, or were you just telling us that nobody claimed it? Hey, Michael, what's up, buddy? I need to, I need to get some clarification on, from Rennie here. I wanna make sure we got we got what's going on but until i see that from Rennie, just as a reminder you're going to be guessing you're going to be guessing one number you're going to make one guess one guess only and it'll be between the numbers that i give you once you see the start on the screen from zach so let me uh I'm trying to get some clar clarification from Rennie right at the moment. Oh, sorry, Zenny. Yeah, I have Zenny and I have Rennie. How about Mateo? We'll go with Mateo. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, there you go, guys. Rennie has that blue dozier that went unclaimed from a couple weeks ago that he is gonna add in to our giveaway tonight. So as long as it's in the US, he does have that stipulation that he will ship as long as it's in the US. So if you have a US shipping address, Rennie is gonna add a blue dozier. So you'll get it, you could get a dozier and a mini dozier. So that could be cool. One of each, that's awesome. So thank you so much, Rennie. That was very, very kind of you. Very kind of you. Hopefully it won't go unclaimed tonight. <laughs> hey, Gary, what's up? So, very cool. Thank you so much. 
So, oh, and we got a sticker. You got a sticker from the off grid too. Sorry about that. Got a sticker. So we got to make sure. So once you see the start, there's your number. I already have it pre-selected. We have it right here. So once you see the start on the screen from Zach, you will make one guess, one guess only, a number between, what's up Grateful Panic? What's up buddy? So once I get the start on the screen from Zach, I will tell you the, there you go. So you will guess one number between 450 and 600. There you go. 450 and 600. There's our number there. It's all nice and covered up. Go ahead and start making your guesses. 450 to 600. <laughs> the suspense is killing you. <laughs> I know that's part of the fun now. The suspense is part of the fun. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. Well, let's see if we have anybody getting close. Oh, I do see some close ones. I do, I do. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Some good numbers coming in, some good numbers coming in. Excellent, excellent. Excellent guesses, everyone. Very good, very good. One guess, one guess only, please. Not that I'm seeing anybody make multiple guesses. It's just a reminder. Very cool. There are some close ones for sure. I don't think anybody's hit it right on the head yet. Not that I can see. And you know what? I'm going to do this. So let's see here. Let's see. There's some good ones, though. Man, there's some good ones. We'll let it run for a little bit, just in case. <laughs> An autographed picture of me in a hula skirt. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't want to scare you that bad. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I might have to do that just for the heck of it, just for fun. Do that on a giveaway coming up. An autographed picture of me in that crazy Hawaiian shirt and hula skirt. Oh, my goodness. That would be crazy. Oh, that was your... Okay, okay. As long, Just as long as it's before the stop, before you can make your, uh, your, your actual guess there, Grateful Panic. <laughs> No, no chocolate covered macadamia nuts in the giveaway tonight. I did give away some of the the cookies when that we picked up when we were there. I think one of them had macadamia nuts in it. Oh, you want to see the green knife again? Sure, I'll show it to you. Sure, sure. Why not? Why not? There you go. Very cool. a cool little knife were the cookies good yeah i like them they're really good and it's crazy that all their shops had been shut down <clears throat> you could only buy them online and uh the shops opened that friday that we were there all their local shops so we went and there was actually a line to get in if you can believe that that picture would be priceless <laughs> yeah there was actually a line to get into that cookie shop so they're very 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 popular cookies so, alrighty, I am not seeing really any more guesses. Stuff we do got his in. <clears throat> so, Zach, if you want to go ahead and throw a stop up on the screen. At your leisure, please. There you go. Honolulu Cookie Company. There you go. HonoluluCookie.com. Yes, sir. They're yummy. They are yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. There's our stop sign. So... 
I know we had a couple of close ones. I know we had a couple of close ones. So our number was 527. 527. I don't think I saw a 527, but I do think I saw a couple of 526s. So I'll have to go back. I should have wrote those down when I saw them. There's a couple of 528s too, man. Closest without going over. Those are always the rules. Corbin Stewart. That's one 526. I'm going to write that one down for now. I'm going to write that one down so I can remember. There's that one. There's a 557. Ooh, Ian Goodman with a 526. All right. Oh, there is a 527. Women carry knives. Oh, and Matt. Oh, man. Well, sorry, Ian. And sorry, we got it. Women carry knives. There's a 527. Matt, I did not see those. There's a 527. Matt Strader. Very good. Very good. So it still looks like we're going to have a playoff here. Oh, my goodness. Nice, guys. Nice. You did hit that. Very cool. All right, so yeah, is that what you guys see as well? Women carrying knives and Matt Strader. Women carrying knives and Matt Strader. Yep, that's what I see as well. So, okay. So we're going to have a playoff. All right, women carrying knives and Matt Strader. Um, let's see. We're going to do one guess between... 20 and 30, don't guess yet, okay, I got a number now, one guess between 20 and 30, closest, you can go over, doesn't matter, just closest, so whenever you want to guess, go right ahead guys, one guess between 20 and 30. For Matt, and Christine, the lovely and wonderful Christine. I'm sorry, I should have been saying that the whole time. The lovely and wonderful Christine. So Matt says 25. Very good, very good. Safe, right in the middle guess, right on. Yeah, I, I got your, I see where you're going with that. And Christine says 27. The lovely and wonderful Christine, excuse me, says 27. Well, the number is 28. The number is 28. So it would be the lovely and wonderful Christine would be our winner. Now, you know what? I had a thought. As I was saying everything, I had a thought. I had a thought. I did. I really did. I was thinking, you know, instead of choosing whichever knife you wanted, you could have them both. So you know what? I'm going to send you both knives. And Rennie is also going to send you a knife. So tonight was a three knife night. Three knives in tonight's package, guys. You know I was putting them up there for a reason. You know I was. And a Hulu, fo and a Hulu photo. <laughs> so, Christine, you don't have to email me. I think we talk enough that we can get this all figured out. I probably almost have your address memorized by now anyway. So, congratulations, to the lovely and wonderful Christine for winning the SKL giveaway tonight. So, oh my goodness. Now I got, okay, all right, I'll print it. Uh, shoot. Does it have to be color? I don't have a color printer right now. All I have is a black and white printer. <laughs> I don't have a color printer right now. Is black and white acceptable? If black and white is acceptable, I think I can do it. 
I know color would be better, but I don't have a color printer right now. <laughs> you got a color printer? Zach, you okay? But I got to autograph it. Send it to you on Instagram? All right, I can do that. I'll send it to you. But I can't auto. Well, you'll just have to bring it with you and I'll autograph it at Blade Show West. No, I start sending it to other people, and that thing's going to be all over the Internet. I know how you guys work. Well, not that it can't be already. It's already on the Internet. Somebody could steal it and put it wherever they want. So I guess it really doesn't matter. So, <laughs> yeah, you got to have color for the Hawaiian shirt. So uh, bring it to Blade Show West, and I'll autograph it for you, okay, if that's what, if that's what you want. <laughs> but all righty, I will – you will definitely – some of you may have screenshots. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> so, hey, guys, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. It's been an absolute blast, as always. I will have to tell you, though, next week is kind of up in the air. Are you out, Dylan? All right. Bye, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. No, no coconut bra. Um, next week's show is, it's up in the air right now, guys. Um, the rumor is we might have to work all next weekend. So I may have to do an early show. So I may have to do an early show. So guys, keep your eyes open on Instagram. Keep your eyes open on the community page of the channel and I will, I will let you know. I will let you know. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do it early, Zach, if that's what ends up. I think I'm gonna try to do it early. And there you go. Justin, they're doing the birthday show for Molly tomorrow, 8 p.m. Central, there you go. And Peter and Christine, are you guys going live tomorrow night? we got to find out if Peter and Christine are going live tomorrow night. If they are, it's usually 7.30 Pacific time, Sunday evening. We'll wait for a verification. But thank you guys so, so very much. Thank you to all the members of Big Red's Brigade. that are that. Thank you so much for your support, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Okay, there we go. We got the confirmation. 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. They are going live on Women Carry Knives channel this week. I know they alter it. So, yes, yes, Rennie, I most certainly will. I will send you their address. And I will make sure that you have it and can get the, the knife to them for sure. Absolutely. So there we go, guys. Zach tomorrow at noon Pacific. Justin and Molly tomorrow night at 6 Pacific or 8 p.m. Central, and then Women Carry Knives and A Therapeutic Edge live on her channel tomorrow night at 7.30 Pacific time. Guys, I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will see you hopefully next Sunday, or next Saturday, excuse me, for another edition of Saturday Knife Live, maybe early, maybe late, I don't know, but I'll definitely see you tomorrow at noon on Zach's Live, and I'll probably see you tomorrow night um, on hopefully Justin and Molly's, and then hopefully on Peter and Christine's as well. Have a great night, guys. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys. <laughs>